Hey everybody, Chris Endress here. I'm at the uh, back of the range at Ironwood and I'm uh, going to do a quick tip for you, um, especially relevant for you slicers. And um, this might be, if you've had this, uh, this suggestion from somebody, I would like you to uh, flush it from your memory forever because it's more harmful than good. And what that tip is, it relates to your golf swing and your takeaway specifically. So uh, I'll get in a little more detail here uh, as we go. So if you've ever been told that you want to uh, take the club straight back from the ball for some length of time or distance, uh, please do away with that thought because what that'll do is it'll get you taking the club too straight back, taking the club straight up, not turning very well. And if I do that, what that typically results in is a left to right shot for us right-handers or a slice. So if I try to force that club to come straight back, it's not very natural and it leads to that club face staying open, ball going off to the right. So, I do have an alignment stick down here, which I do recommend for all my students when they practice. However, just be careful and be aware that that alignment stick is not relevant to the golf swing. The alignment stick is simply there for you to get aligned properly to your intended target. Once you've done that though, just uh, uh, forget the alignment stick in terms of how it relates to your swing. So a golf swing is more like a baseball swing. The club swings around the body in an arc. And that's what we want to let it do. Uh, and no matter if it's a driver or a shorter club, I want that club to swing around me more like a baseball swing. So I'm going to take that feeling of swinging that club around like that. I'm going to adjust my posture slightly, drop it down to the ground, and feel the same thing. Now you notice that as soon as that club comes back away from the ball, it begins to travel in an arc. There is no straight line as far as the golf swing goes. So, if you watch the club now as it leaves the ball, you'll see it travel in an arc. And you'll also see, if you watch that in slow motion, the club arc back to the inside after impact. So, if you've ever had that tip, that might be one of the worst tips in golf, take your club straight back from the ball. Throw that one out, let that club swing around you naturally, and especially you slicers, I guarantee it'll help you get that club face square at impact and cut out some of that curve left to right. Hope that helps, and uh, if you need more help with that, come out and see me and we'll get you fixed up. Thank you.